Hi, right, well, here we are out on the farm, which uh, to our great good fortune, not only is Cairn Research entirely ours, but so is the farm. The farm has been a tremendous opportunity and no way were we going to walk away from, from this one. So we saw this farm in the spring of 2001, uh, realised that it was uh, something that we really just must have although we were at the time pretty much convinced that we would be outbid by people with more money than us uh, but it didn't happen. One of the nice features of this farm is that there is a chalk spring and stream which uh, is, is obviously potentially a very nice sort of facility but it was just uh, kind of yeah, draining away in, in uh, not quite a swamp-like fashion but it was originally would have gone into an old sea inlet which had long since dried up but it was a rather low boggy sort of area in this particular section so we thought well why don't we landscape it basically dig out a pond or two and use what had come out of the ponds in order to build up the surrounding land and it's become a very very nice uh, feature down there and also some of the other land that we bought as part of that uh, purchase, something rather more than half of it, uh, that was actually good quality agricultural land which is also being farmed. But some of it is just put down aside for, for wildlife and that brings our total land holding up to some 70 acres now. So it was a kind of win-win situation for us that we're clearly very happy with. Because of how this farm was, and we've been able to keep it this, this way, there are little pockets of things here. So we have some old-fashioned, very tall cherry trees, which people don't want anymore. So nowadays, for doing apples and, and cherries, you use what's called a dwarfing rootstock, so that things can be uh, picked at a lower level and increasingly perhaps by machine. So the way we do things, we have someone who comes along and picks and sells the cherries by stall. He's just finished. Now the apples have an even more interesting and perhaps to some of us more useful application because they are taken and made into cider. As a local, the Kent Cider Company, been going just a few years, but they've been doing very well, uh, picking up lots of awards and lots of sales and it's very nice to be able to use facilities like that here to help other people with their business as well as our own. This, these premises, the whole farm is worth uh, many times what we actually paid for it so we're sitting on I guess a nice asset but I always have to make the point it's not something that we can spend as such it's more uh, money that we don't owe to other people and we like that. It's very important for us to be our own masters so that we can design our own products, do our own things in our own way.